this video we're going to give you an introduction to tattoo fading by using AC electric marking or thermal abrasion with osmosis. We have made this picture here just to illustrate where the ink of the tattoo sits and it sits inside the dermis. It doesn't sit in onto the epidermis, it sits in the dermis and is done within one session and when the tattoo artists make a tattoo what it does he does is um, he injects the ink inside the dermis and it stays there for a lifetime. It does fade over time because the skin regeneration process will have the pigments to, to be reabsorbed slowly but it will be there essentially for a lifetime if it's not removed. A very important note here is to understand that it is far easier to have a tattoo done than removing it. Um, so it is important that you manage your client's expectation because they had a tattoo done but they've got to realise that as June 2015 we have not a very easy ways to have it removed in one session only. So removing a tattoo is many times harder than having it done. Now the technique used uh, by using AC electric arcing is the spray operation. The, this is, I mean, the spray operation and uh, or thermal operation is done in order to kickstart the skin, the natural skin regeneration process. So it fades, the tattoo fades in stages. It doesn't normally fade within one session. There are certain cases when it does. We'll talk about that uh, further, but normally it takes a number of sessions and the number of sessions that are required in order to, f to remove a tattoo depends on the quality of the ink used, uh, the quality of the machinery used to make the tattoo in the first place and the level of intensity used by the user uh, while he adopts thermal abrasion with or without osmosis. At the end of this video you're going to watch a very interesting video where a radio frequency device has been used for tattoo removal by using thermal abrasion with osmosis. Please mind you that maybe more than one session was used in order to remove the tattoo. We do not know, so it is very important to remember that a tattoo is quite difficult to remove and may require a number of sessions uh, depending on many factors. But now we're going to talk about the treatment intensity in tattoo removal. We already talked about treatment intensity in spray operation briefly, but in tattoo removal is slightly more complicated because we're adding osmosis as well. So we're talking about intensity in very four, uh, very simple uh, steps at the moment, and we have detailed them as four in this particular video, but we're going into more detail in further videos. Now, um, the level one side is removing, just removing the top layer of the skin, which is the epidermis, and that will kickstart the skin regeneration process, which will fade slightly, that tattoo. So that is going to require a number of sessions to have it removed in general. Now, the step two, or level number two, is removing the epidermis and further stimulating um, the, 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 the dermis by uh, breaking down those pigments again. So basically what we do is remove that layer there and then with the spray operation we're going to break a bit more pigments inside the dermis and that will have uh, a better effect into the tattoo removal process. But that's a higher uh, degree of intensity. Now we, we can give it a boost as well by using osmosis. So osmosis is used um, by using sodium chloride which will actually draw the broken pigments of the tattoo onto the surface, further accelerating that tattoo fading process or tattoo removal when the tattoo is completely removed. So in level say one first, we've got the same as level one, but at the end we're going to apply sodium chloride in certain ways, which we'll see later on. And level two first, it's the same as level two, as I say, we're going to remove the epidermis and 
we're going to further excite the dermis by breaking the pigments, the tattoo pigments in there, and then apply sodium chloride in a certain way for a certain length of time. Thank you very much for watching and please enjoy the following video. With a slight intensity of pressure, the upper epidermis is removed. Please be careful to coagulate superficially just the surface. It has to be coagulated two millimeters more over the edge of the tattoo, as during the following scabbing, otherwise through dehydration, a temporary shrinking of the upper skin levels can take place. In that case, there would be the risk that pigmentations at the edge of the tattoo will not be removed. In the next step, sterilized grain sodium chloride is applied on the area that will be treated. Afterwards, the area is covered with a sterilized compress, which is fixed by an elastic bandage. Five hours later, you remove the bandage and the salt and clean the treated area with alcohol. After about three days, a scabbing develops. This has to fall off by itself after three to four weeks.